are honored today to pray homage and recognition to one of the most outstanding leaders in the world, President Nelson Mandela. 90 years young, having committed his entire life to freedom, justice, opportunity for the world, and particularly for the people of South Africa. I'm joined by, if it were not for these members of the House Foreign Relations Committee, uh, Chairman Donald Payne of the African Global Subcommittee, and full committee chair, Chairman Congressman Howard Berman, members of the subcommittee, we never would have, Mr. Ambassador, been able to move President Mandela off of the terrorist list as long as, as well as the ANC, who never should have been there. So we're here today to honor President Mandela, to say happy birthday, Mr. President, and as members of the United States House of Representatives and the United States Congress, we know that you'll have many more. I'd like to call on my colleagues standing here to make brief comments and we'll end with the Ambassador. Chairman Berman. Thank you very much uh, uh, for calling this conference and inviting me. Uh, Nelson Mandela truly was one of uh, a very few people in my lifetime who uh, dramatically affected me and my, my perspective and outlook on issues of, of justice and fairness and equality. Uh, he emerged from decades of beatings, barbed wire, prison bars to become an icon of human liberty and possibility. As the first black president of his country, he astonished and delighted freedom loving people around the world. Mandela issued a clarion call to arms in the fight against AIDS long before his successor as president was prepared to recognize the importance of this fight. Uh, I bring up this issue because that legislation uh, that Don Payne and Barbara Lee and Sheila Jackson Lee and Diane Watson and so many people worked on uh, will be coming to the floor for passage next week to go to the president. President Mandela demanded that leaders step up to their responsibility to combat HIV AIDS with clear vision and imaginative action. And he called on everyone, not just government officials, to be leaders in the struggle. I call upon all of you, every global citizen, to say, not to forget. We must seize this opportunity to demonstrate that we share a common humanity. We must never reduce the HIV AIDS issue to the statistics. It is also in the spirit of Nelson Mandela's eternal quest for justice that Congress recently passed legislation to exempt him and other members of the African National Congress from treatment as terrorists when they visit the United States. As Mandela himself has noted, the time is always Mandela, thank you for your gift of enlightened leadership and inspiration. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I neglected to say I'm Congresswoman Carolyn Kilpatrick from Michigan. We're now joined by the Chairman of the African House, the House African Global Committee, Congressman Donald Payne from New Jersey. Thank you very much. Let me uh, <coughs> thank you, um, Chairperson of the Congressional Black Caucus, and the person who. <coughs> in your role uh, on the Appropriations Committee have done so much to assist uh, in uh, programs that uh, have been beneficial to um, South Africa, in particular in Africa in general. Let me just say we're here to celebrate. It's uh, it such an important day, uh, 90 years ago on Saturday was the birthday of, of Mr. Nelson Mandela, born on uh, July. 19 and 1918, really a true son of African soil, liberation leader, born in the trans sky in South Africa, and we're all certainly familiar with the significant role played by former President Mandela in the liberation struggle of the whole world. We used to simply say free uh, Nelson Mandela. It was a chorus that was heard around the world, and we all celebrated uh, when uh, that day finally occurred. Uh, certainly Mr. Mandela paved the way for many generations of African leadership through his sacrificial leadership. Um, he was offered the opportunity to leave prison, uh, but he said he would not until he had the right uh, to run for public office to be a leader and, and, and opted to remain in prison. As you know, he was in prison for 27 years. Much of it spent on Robin Island with other great leaders 
like his law partner at the time of his arrest, Walter Sassoulo, uh, and um, the father of the current president uh, of South Africa, Mr. Mbeki, uh, all great leaders that uh, served uh, their country well. So, but we're very pleased that uh, Mr. Mandela has reached this tremendous milestone uh, of 90 years. Many members of the Black Caucus through the years uh, helped in the liberation of Charles Diggs, who was a chair of the African Subcommittee, was a real leader uh, in, uh, for Africa, and actually refused to become the U.S. representative to the U.N. from Congress because of South Africa's policies of apartheid and would not take that position. I, because of his sacrifice and what has happened, I had the privilege to two times serve in that position, but had it not been for the sacrifice of Congressman Diggs, perhaps I would never have had this opportunity. So we always have to remember those shoulders on which we stand. Um, you'll hear from Congressman Barbara Lee later, later but it was uh, Congressman Dellums with the CAAA legislation in 86, the Comprehensive Anti-Apartheid uh, legislation, and then uh, Congressman Bill Gray, you see around here still at the Negro National Negro College Fund, but he had the Gray Amendment, which also weakened South Africa during that time, and Congressman Rangel, at that time on the Ways and Means Committee, that it was known that he had a bill passed that double taxed any company doing business in South Africa, so if they wanted to stay there, they had to pay twice as much taxes, and so we had people who together worked, and we should never forget the work that they've done, but Mr. Mandela, uh, when he came to New York, I had the privilege to see tough New York uh, construction workers, the roughest people in the world, uh, some of the unions that, as a matter of fact, uh, have uh, been some of the most uh, exclusive unions in the country, all came out with the celebration welcoming Nelson Mandela. Even those tough hard hats said that this man is really unbelievable, and I had the privilege to be at the UN. Winnie Mandela and Congress uh, Mayor David Dinkins and his wife and I had the privilege to be in a special group with Mr. Mandela when he gave his first speech at the United Nations at that time, not the president of, of, of South Africa, but of invited guests. And so there's so many things that uh, uh, we could say, but uh, and one other memorable, two other memorable occasions was when he and, and um, Mr. Uh, Oliver Tombo uh, walked around the stadium uh, when they were both brought together. Mr. Tombo decided to step down as chairman of the ANC to allow Mr. Mandela to take that position and then assume the presidency. And so there's a tremendous uh, dignity for what Nelson Mandela did. He changed that country from the black or white to color or Asians uh, to all know that it is a country that has a great future. We celebrate your 90th birthday, Mr. Mandela. Uh, you taught us how to live. Uh, you are such a tremendous person for the entire world, and uh, we definitely appreciate what you've done. And I also like to say we have young leaders that will follow. I have the privilege of having a salary of Africans in my office, Tammy led who is a young South African intern, and uh, I know that the country is in good hands because we have such bright young South Africans here training in our country to go back to be leaders in their country. This time I'll turn back to the chair lady. Or, uh, Vice Chair of the Congressional Black Caucus and also a member of the House Foreign Relations Committee, Congresswoman Barbara Lee from Oakland, California. Thank you very much, and let me thank you, Congresswoman uh, Kilpatrick, uh, for your leadership, for bringing us all together today to commemorate and say happy birthday to one of the greatest and most beloved statesmen of our time, Mr. Nelson Mandela. Thank you also for your leadership in helping us work together to make sure that uh, the bill that we talked about earlier was uh, finally passed and signed into law. And I have to say to Chairman Burke, thank you so much for making sure that